As you wish. Do you think he'd be mad if we sat in his chair? He doesn't have to know. If thou see not As you wish.
another watcher in Cadnua, glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes. What strange happenstance. As am I. If you should happen to find him, I would be glad to know of it. Each day his absence brings new dust to my halls, new cracks to my stones. It's... it's shameful is what it is. The Earl would never have let it come to this. You are free to search for him here. I will unbar the way. Not as a land is its laws, more as a child is its mother's. This castle was my design, you see. The Earl appointed me to do it. I was getting on in years. I knew it would be my only chance to build something magnificent. When it was built, I couldn't bring myself to part from it, to go back to my lonely home. I begged the Earl to let me stay, to take care of it. It was all I wanted, and he granted it. Years later, when Bareth Sasha finally came calling, I begged the Earl to find a way to let me remain, and so he did. Imprisoned? At times it feels that way, I suppose. But it's more that I reside here. The throne was brought up from the ruins, one of the first things they found. As a last favor to a dying woman, the Earl arranged for me to be moved into it. Audra is an accommodating vessel for a soul. Oh, it's not as confining as it seems. I can feel the whole keep from here, and all things that are tied to it. There's something about this throne and its construction. Or maybe it's something about this place. The Earl of Yenwood. The original, in fact, when Deerwood was a colony. He found this site, the only ruin Air Glanfarth refused to defend, and he believed its wealth would be great. The keep was his way of defending his family's claim, and that claim became his obsession. He had to know what lay beneath. He devoted his life to excavating the ruins below the keep. They had been sealed with rock and soil. Deliberately, it would seem. Years passed, and with them the Earl. He dug his entire life and never found what he sought. His obsession became his sons and his sons' sons. And one day, that young Earl broke through. An endless maze, incomprehensible in its construction. But he would never come to learn more than that. Vile things had taken residence there. Vile and dangerous. They poured up through the keep and slew its residents. The Earl among them. After that, the keep remained abandoned. Unused, wasted. Mayor Wall's mastery of this place was the first hope I'd had in two hundred years. How I've longed to see it as it once was. I can only guess why all this has happened. I fear I've wronged the gods putting this place here, and they've doomed me to watch it wear away into dust. To witness my own folly. He was a great man. He came here one day, young with long hair and polished armor, and he banished the dark things that had come to lurk in this place after centuries of neglect. He could see the beauty of this place, the way it had been, so he claimed it for his own when no one else would take it. We worked together to restore it. But he began to grow distant some time ago. He never told me why. He retreated deeper and deeper into the keep, never leaving, sending servants for food, hiding himself from my sight. The restoration stopped. Now, to look at the place, you'd never know the progress we'd made. In most places, it's worse than it ever was. And all I can do is watch it crumble around me. I can feel his presence faintly somewhere deeper inside the keep. But he uses his gifts to confound me and my senses are dulled while he does so. I only wish I could know his mind. Take care in your search. Many dangers lie in wait here. <laughs>